afternoon folks big Bo here with another great class a diesel motor home value from parkway rv center guys today it's been a while since i've done a class a diesel today we're going to review a very nice clean 2006 winnebago journey se the model number is a 36 sg it's 36 and a half feet long bumper to bumper at its longest point uh, has two power slide outs. It's a diesel, rear engine diesel, diesel pusher motorhome built on a Freightliner chassis. Got the 300 horsepower ISB Cummins turbo diesel. One of the most dependable diesels ever installed in any RV. And one of the most popular ones too. Over a billion road miles have been put on ISB Cummins diesels in RVs. I mean, these things are in... Um, probably 40 50 percent of, of diesel motorhomes on the market today used ones and guys it's uh it's a clean motorhome looking around it's a full body paint obviously no delamination it's got the hydraulic leveling jacks the 22 and a half inch tires it's got a power awning or excuse me a manual awning and it does have a 7500 watt onan diesel generator with only 110 hours it runs great now guys let me go and get this out of the way this is a very common problem in these mid 2000s freight liners cpu goes bad you have to replace the, or what the owner has to replace the cpu zeros out the odometer according this was traded in on a new motorhome According to the dealer I bought it from, I buy all their used trade-ins, or I get first shot at them, let's just say that. According to the dealer I bought it from, this unit in mid-late 2017 had 56, uh, fit right at 57,000 miles on it. CPU went bad, customer had a new one put in, it zeroed out the odometer. The odometer now shows 11,682 miles. So you figure 77 plus 11.6, or excuse me, 57 plus 11.6, uh, that's 68, 69,000 miles on it, just to be sure. I checked the Carfax in 2017. Uh, it shows it at 52,000 miles in early 2017. So the numbers do all match up, guys. So it's got 69,000 miles, roughly, approximately, low miles for the year model. And, and guys, these motorhomes can go hundreds of thousands of miles you take care of them. Not even remotely broken in yet. It's got the Allison six-speed transmission, and it's got the upgrade 10,000-pound hitch on the back. And you can see there's not scuffed up, it's not beat up. Uh, Army veteran owned. It looks like he was in for quite a while, or she. Iraqi Freedom and Desert Storm. That was about a 10 or 11 year difference right there between the two conflicts so, and wars. I like the fact that both slides are on the same side. You know, here's what I like about Winnebago. I own one. My, I actually own a Winnebago myself. After my choice of about anything out there, Winnebago is my choice. A couple of reasons. First reason is the roof system. Crowned one-piece fiberglass roof. Very little maintenance compared to traditional TPO or even a rubber roof. Um, excuse me, a rubber roof or uh, even a metal roof is less maintenance on a fiberglass. Uh, of course, TPO's a little less maintenance than fiberglass, but um, fiberglass roof is a lot less maintenance. And of course, in these in this particular era of RVs, that was the best you could get. They look great. You know, you can look at a Winnebago that's 30 years old, and the roof still looks great. I like the fact that Winnebago builds 80% of the parts on this RV. You ever need this compartment door? Even if it's 10, 15 years from now, call Winnebago, give them the VIN number, they'll send you that door. You try doing that with anybody else. 50 amp electrical service. I like the fact that Winnebago builds their own frames in-house. 
So here's the thing, guys. Most RV manufacturers buy aftermarket frames. So, like you look at a Fleetwood Southwind, it may have the same frame as a Coachman Murata or a Four Winds Hurricane. And the engineers have to design the motorhomes around the frames. Well, Winnebago was the first manufacturer to build and manufacture their own frames in-house. So the engineers that designed the frame also designed the motorhomes. They all were designed together. The difference is when you drive this RV, you're going to get less sway, you're going to get less rattling, less road noise, and a lot better ride because of that. You've got a double windshield that looks great. I know you can't see, it's got one little rock peck on the driver's glass. Not, not nothing to worry about, but just picking it for you. The front looks awesome. You know, I don't know for a fact, but based on the condition of this coach, I would say it's probably been stored under cover when not being used. And I like the fact it's got almost 70,000 miles. That means it's not been overused, but it's not been sitting for years between uses either. So it's kind of right, right there where you want to be. And the motorhome runs and drives great. We drove it 550 miles here. Beautiful color scheme. It's not beat up. Corners aren't beat up. Um, Toyo tires on it look good. Let's look inside. And you know, this is a 14 year old motorhome, guys. So I'm not saying this is brand new. It is used. It's, I've got the original paperwork. The original owner spent $179,000 new. And then the last people that bought it in 2012 spent $129,000 on it. The paperwork's in there as well. And I've got it for $59,900. So quite a bit of difference. And of course, you know, it's not going to be new. Um, inside, the carpets have been removed and replaced with a perco floor which is kind of a simulated hardwood floor and it looks great it's a lot easier to clean you know now if, if, if you got to have carpet and it's a deal breaker let us know we'll get you a price on replacing this with carpet um, but let me tell you something guys from somebody who's owned RVs for most of my adult life this is by far the superior way to go may not be as pretty as nice thick plush carpet but i promise you when you're using this thing day in and day out a whole lot easier to keep clean nice open floor plan i like the fact both slides are on the same side so if you get into a tight parking spot or a tight camp spot you can still deploy your slide outs versus slide outs on opposing sides this is all original leather furniture it looks great no tour spots, no smoke odors, no pet odors. Headliner, it's got the crowned roof so you don't have standing water. And there's nothing sagging down on the headliner. I will point out one other thing, guys. And guys, I just know Winnebago so well I can tell when something's not factory. Um, this particular unit came with two options. You could either have a big lounge chair and a table, which this one has. In, against the wall and you could swivel your front seat around and have eating service for two or work area uh, but it originally had one big lounge chair sometime over the past 14 years one of the two previous owners took the lounge chairs out and bought two matching chairs now guys obviously they never used that table that's why they got that chair there you know if you don't want this one of these chairs let us know we'll put it in somebody's office here or something and you can still have one chair in your table in your chair over here so it just depends on what you want with it because sure enough i take that out and somebody finds out later on there was two chairs in here they're gonna they'd rather have the owner would rather have it or the new owner would rather have it with two chairs so whatever you want to do guys if you want me to take that chair out i will and just leave one in here or leave them both in here it's your choice but let's go to the cockpit area leather captain's chairs obviously in great shape no more miles in her on it Windshield, like I said, you got one little rock peck. I, it, you, you're not going to see it on camera. There's no point in showing it to you. It's it's not even hardly worth mentioning. So, six-speed push-button Allison. HWH hydraulic jacks, power heated mirrors. You've got power 
uh, sunshades. They've upgraded the TV to a flat screen from the original CRT. You've got a backup camera system, CD player, dash looks good. Um, got surround sound speakers. Both seats swivel for party seating, and they're both power. Guys, it's a nice unit. Uh, it's got the upgraded refrigerator, the big four-door refrigerator that's, I think, back in 2006 was a $2,200 upgrade on top of the cost of the regular fridge. You got leather furniture. You got Corian countertops. It does have one stress crack. And the way this works right here, you got a little crack right here and one right here. If I had to guess, this is not from stress. This is from somebody dropping a, uh, a pot or pan or something popping open out of this right here and heating right here and probably broke that uh, sometime over the past 14 years. And um, this is all original, guys. You know, I like the padded headliner. It's that padded vinyl headliner. It's soft. It helps reduce noise. It helps. Um, it helps a... Um, Insulate your coach, and if you ever have a leak in it, this stuff will sag like an old car headliner. When you're looking at a used RV, it's I would rather see a used RV with this headliner in it because I can tell if it's leaked or not. And I'm not saying that would hurt it, but as long as it's been fixed. And here's your trip, trip to or a trick too, guys. You see that batten strip. If they've had a leak in here and they just went ahead and replaced this and they somehow miraculously matched the color, here's how you tell. Look in your cabinet. Look at the batten strip, how it continues on in the cabinet. That's how you know that's the original headliner. Because if they'd replaced this, they'd have cut it off here and not worried about the cabinet. So just a little tip for, for y'all when you RV shop to see if one's leaked. And guys, all RVs leak. I'm not going to lie to you. If anybody tells you they don't leak, they're lying. All RVs have the potential to leak. You just have to stop it, repair the damage before it gets bad. Uh, my own, every coach I've ever owned leaked at one point or another. Guys, that's just part of owning one. And, you know, those of y'all who, who think, oh, I, my RV will never leak, you, you're wrong. It will. One day, right circumstances, they do. And the trick is to stop it and stop the leak before it does any damage. So I know I may make a lot of y'all mad, but trust me, guys, I've owned several RVs over the years, and I've been around this business 22 years. I've seen brand new Airstreams leak and more. Big refrigerator. Got the big freezer. In fact, it's, I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah, see the highest back there? You know, obviously it works. <laughs> Table booth. Uh, I've got a factory brochure in here. It's got books and manuals thicker than an Atlanta, Georgia phone book back when phone books were a big thing. <laughs> uh, here's the original sales when it was new. 170... 5366 new now of course this is everything that was on it back in 2006 a lot of this stuff may have gone bad may have been upgraded may have been deleted since then i don't know i'm gonna assume everything on that list is still here but you know don't uh you know i don't want anybody coming in here well this thing said it had a 600 watt inverter back in 2006 and it's got a thousand watt now that's false advertising it's got an inverter guys i mean it that you know i promise you it's uh <laughs> It'll still do the same thing. I'm just saying for an example. But it does have a built-in inverter. It does have, and I love this about the one bagel. Mine's got this. It's got the two-ton plus residential central heat and air system. Instead of having two rooftop AC units like most of them have, uh, you've got one unit in the basement. It's on the passenger side in the back corner. It's quieter. Than the rooftop units you're not you don't have uh those rooftop units stuck up on your roof hurting your aerodynamics making you burn more fuel you don't have those shrouds up there you got to replace every few years when they get brittle and when the plastic starts getting brittle and age and and breaks you don't have to worry about replacing them or keeping up with two units one central unit uh 
10% quieter, 40% more efficient than two rooftop units. You get the added bonus of having an electric heat pump in it, just like you have in your own home, as well as a gas heat. So you've got two different ways of heating this thing, and you've got that two-ton plus BTU cooling, and it will do an excellent job cooling this unit. And the good thing about it, because it's all evenly distributed too, less hot and cold spots. Walk through bathroom. I like this right here, guys. When you walk through, you don't have a direct line of sight to the bedroom. So it gives you a little bit more privacy. You step to the right, you've got a water closet. Porcelain, elongated RV toilet. Now, guys, it's never had one according to the paperwork, but it does have washer and dryer hookups in here. Um, guys, if you're not going to use it once a week, it's not worth the trouble to put a washer and dryer in one or buy or buy one only because it has a washer and dryer in it. If, you, if you're not going to use it once a week, take it off your won't list entirely because you're not going to need it if you don't use it once a week. It's not worth the service and they are a nightmare for service. It's not worth the hassle of having one or maintaining one uh, unless you're going to live in it or full time and use it one time a week or more. I'm just telling you from experience, guys. You look at most RVs, the RV will be 15 years old. If it's got a washer and dryer in it, it's been used once or twice in the past 15 years. They just do not do a very good job. And you have to give up too much to, to dry a load of clothes that consists of a pair of shorts and two t-shirts because that's all they'll hold. You see, shower looks great. No water stains around the skylight. And I like this cozy rear bedroom because of this three quarters wall right here. You get a lot more privacy and you got a solid door for more privacy. Very cozy in here, guys. The colors, the lights, big windows right here. Of course, this year an escape window as well. Um, Queen Island bed. TV, flat screen TV been upgraded back here. Big closet and the slide out. So interior storage is not going to be a problem. Again, guys, just a super nice and clean unit. And I know it's not perfect. I try, That's why I always try to show you the flaws in these because, again, it's not new. New, 175000 You saw it for yourself. This is $59,900, $110,000, approximately less. $115,000 less. I don't know about you. For $115,000... I can put up with a little spot in the windshield. I can put up with a crack in the countertop or two. I feel like there's one. No, that's that. Well, that one's been there. It looks like it's been glued back. So I can deal with that to save $110,000. That's a chunk of money, guys. In fact, the previous owners, the ones that had it, that traded in on a new one, I've got the original paperwork where in 2012, I think it was, they spent $129,000 on this thing. Used. Whew, 59 dollars don't look too bad, does it? It's a diesel motorhome, and, and guys, anybody that knows anything about diesels will tell you that ISB, Cummins Diesel, is the workhorse of the Cummins fleet, or the Cummins engine lineup. And it's got enough power to run 75 miles an hour all day long down the road, which is about as fast as you want to take this thing anyway. And it'll go faster than that, too. Um... And still tow 10,000 pounds. I sold a diesel motor home to a good buddy of mine a few months ago. And he, he races. And he bought one. It was this size with three slides and a 300 Cummins. Same motor that's in this. About the same miles. And he's got a 31, 32 foot enclosed trailer with his race car, a spare engine. Ungodly amount of tools and equipment. And he hauls behind it. Probably, he's probably towing eight grand, eight thousand pounds behind it. Way more than most of y'all are going to tow if you're just going to put a car or a truck or an SUV behind it. And guys, he he cruises 75, 80 miles an hour all day long. I mean, that 300 horse, he loves it. It's just got just the right amount of power. And, and unlike the big 400s and the 450s and the 525s and all that, it doesn't, it doesn't gulp the fuel down like those uh, bigger engines do, too. And, guys, like I said, you, the dependability of an ISB Cummins, you can Google that. It's, it's pretty much legendary. Uh, it's, 
you know, a Cat C7 and a ISB Cummins is your two most dependable diesel motors, in my opinion anyway, in any RV. But anyway, guys, it's a nice unit. It's clean. Good miles for the year model. It's in excellent shape for a 14-year-old motor home. It's got everything you need, nothing you don't. 59.9 includes all of the benefits that we're famous for for that low price. Includes our world famous four page inspection process. I'll put a link below in the video description. Read it over, look it over good. Everything on that described in that inspection process is guaranteed to work. If we if we during the checkout we find any of those things that doesn't work, we fix it, repair it, replace it at no additional cost to you. If we have to put a refrigerator in it, that's that style refrigerator out there is four grand, five grand, we're gonna do it. Price is fifty nine nine. You know, if we have to, we had to put a generator in one here a few months ago. That was about ten thousand dollars. The price stayed the same. That's what we do, always do. What we say we're going to do, guys. Um, and that's included that that four page inspection process. To back that up, we go out and purchase you a ninety day Easy Care nationwide limited warranty accepted at any licensed repair facility nationwide. And guys. Make sure, do me a favor and make sure you check with your salesperson or the finance manager or the business manager about the upgrades and extensions available for that warranty. Guys, it's a great warranty. I cannot stress to you enough. It's it's the most recognized name in the aftermarket RV warranty business. Unlike other warranties, you're not obligated to take it to this dealer or that franchise dealer or a new dealer a used dealer you're not limited to who you can take it to as long as they're a licensed repair facility it could be a it could be a new Winnebago dealer if you want to it could be a independent used dealer it could be an independent garage any licensed repair facility will accept a warranty guys and it's a great warranty you know you get the 90 day limited regardless but make sure you get a price on upgrades and extensions You'll be glad. It's it's peace of mind for not a lot of money. Very affordable considering everything that it does for you if you ever need it. Now I know it's one of those things as a business like anything, like auto insurance. You know, auto insurance companies hope you pay your premiums every month or every six months and they never have to pay anything in a claim and it's the same way with the warranty company. And we're proud to announce that we're one of Easy Care's lowest claim percentage dealers. In other words, less Parkway RVs go in for um, for claims, for warranty claims, than most of their other dealers. Because guys, after 52 years in business, we know what we're doing. We check these things out. I've got a great group of guys, certified and trained RV techs. They cost, they're not cheap. They cost me a lot of money. But they do a great job. And guys, the way it works after purchase, thing is checked out. If you want to know the current lead time, Oh, I might meant to show you these. If you want to know the current lead time, and I was thinking I was going to show you these, but they're locked up. Here we go. If you want to know the current lead time for a Class A diesel inspection, call, give us a call at 706-965-7929, and they'll give you an estimated time. Estimated time. After you purchase the RV, it goes to our shop, gets checked out, gets cleaned up inside and out. Once we're done with that, we do a final walkthrough on it. If we're happy with everything, we'll call you, set up an appointment, pick up your new-to-you Winnebago journey. And my gosh, folks, you're going to be happy when you get this thing, I promise you. And we can get to it fairly quickly right now, very quickly, actually. So ask your salesperson uh, to give you an estimate on a lead time. Um, but once this, once you arrive at the appointed time, the tech that checked it out, or Preston, my walkthrough expert, will go through this motorhome with you, show you how to operate everything, give you a, a show you any repairs that had to be made, give you tips, tricks, pointers. If you're going to tow something behind it, help you hook that up as well. That's included. We also have nationwide delivery available. And guys, here's how it works on nationwide delivery. Of course, it's got to be paid for, of course, but. All we do is charge you whatever it costs us to bring it to you. You know, if it costs us uh, $621 to get this thing to you, get my driver back home, we charge you $621. We don't make profit on delivery. 
Financing is available with approved credit and down payment. If you got questions about that, give us a call, 706-965-7929. And I, or you can fill out a credit application on my website. Don't forget, I put a link below in the video description to my used Class A diesel page on our website. I've got a great selection here, guys. A variety of floor plans, price ranges. I've got anything from $10,000 in a diesel motor home to $379,000 in a diesel motor home and everything in between. So most of my stuff is under $100,000, including some really nice deals for under for under 60 like this one. I've got stuff for 40 grand, 30 grand, 10 grand, 100 grand. Whatever price range you're trying to stay in, we have a lot of options for you. So make sure you go to that link below and check out my inventory. You're going to be impressed, guys. And uh, this unit comes with the warranty, comes with the inspection, comes with uh, your legal drive-out tag. It comes with 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time. That's select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12-month period. That's 1000 bucks worth of camping. Also includes... Um, instructional dvds and rv starter kit and more and guys that's all included for 59.9 plus applicable sales tax no fees no gains no gimmicks no surprises you, you know it doesn't matter if you pay cash it doesn't matter if you go through a finance department if you if you go through your own bank or credit union it's all the same to us folks it's all it's all cash to us if you've got a trade-in we'll accept trade-ins Give us a call. We'll trade for about anything, guys. So give us a call if you're interested, 706-965-7929. Always call before coming to look to make sure it's available. This thing may not be on the market in two or three days from now. Or it might be. Who knows? I mean, that's the thing, guys. You always want to call. Just because it's listed online, don't assume it doesn't already have a deposit on it. I tell people all the time, and this is this is very, very true, guys. I advertised on some of the most popular RV websites on the internet for shoppers. Thousands and thousands of people are looking for RVs right now. and They're going to these same websites you're going to. They're seeing the same RVs you're looking at, including this one. All it takes is a five-minute phone call and a credit card, and it's off the market quick as that. I've sold RVs in as little as 25, 30 minutes after the video is published. Somebody sees it, likes it, calls, get their questions answered, leaves a deposit on it. It's done. It's like the old, we have a saying here in the sales business, you snooze, you lose. So always call ahead before driving down here to make sure it's available. We do have free airport shuttle service during business hours. At the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport, just let us know when you're coming in and we'll have somebody there. Yeah. Late, lately, we've had customers taking the Greyhound bus uh, to Chattanooga, Tennessee. We'll pick you up there. We're only 15, 20 minutes from the airport the, in the bus terminal. If you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll help you drop the car off at our local rental car terminal. No additional charge during business hours, of course. So however we can help you, folks, we're going to do it. Um, tow dollies in stock if you want to tow your own vehicle back. I've got some great deals on brand new tow dollies. Um... I sell them cheaper and you can buy some used ones I've seen online for. But now I only sell those to people who buy RVs from us, so keep that in mind. Those are extremely hard to get. And uh, so obviously I can't just retail them to anybody off the street. It's got to be somebody that buys an RV from us. Anyway, guys, call me if you have any questions or call us. I'm not in sales. I do the marketing, but, you know, I'll be happy to... If you want to email me, I'll, I'll give you my email address. You know, I'll be happy to answer questions. I just can't sell you the RV. Uh, Bo, B-O at parkwayrvcenter.com. Or if you want to buy it or question for my salespeople who, if they don't know, they're going to ask me anyway. <laughs> it's uh, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Yeah, we all work together. Nobody's here with commission, so don't worry about that. Um, or you can call 706-965-7929, which is obviously the quickest and easiest way to get a hold of somebody. Uh, a lot of times emails don't get answered for a few hours because we're so busy during the day. But anyway, if you got any questions, call us, email us, come out, visit with us. You know, guys, here's a couple of things that make us unique. You know, well, first of all, we've been in business 52 years, and I've got the largest selection of used RVs 
in a 500 mile radius in one location. So I have acres of used RVs here, guys. Travel trailers, motor homes, fifth wheels, toy haulers, class A, Bs, and Cs, gas, diesel, you name it, I probably got it. I've got antique motor homes and more. And guys, we're the only dealership around. You can just park where you want to park. Just don't park in the driveway is the only thing we ask. But, you know, you can pretty much park anywhere on the parking lot where we have our RVs at and uh, look without going through a sales office. You know, and I've been there too, guys. I've been to these dealerships where I just want to look around and you can't just do that. You've got to go into a sales office. Everything's locked up behind a big fence like a prison yard with a locked gate. And the only way to get that gate unlocked is to get interrogated by a high pressure salesperson who's gathering all the ammunition they can to sell you an RV that day. Worst thing you can ever tell. And I mean this guys, take this take this to heart. I'm gonna give you a tip from somebody who's been trained the same way they were. The worst possible thing you can ever tell a commission salesperson when it comes to RVs is that you're not ready to buy yet or you're going to buy in six months or a year or two years or ever how long far away you're buying because you tell them that here comes the pressure because they know they're probably not going to sell you one today anyway so they're going to pull out all the stops and either make you buy one or piss you off and that's the way they're trained guys because guys they're on commission they don't sell you an RV when you come back six months or a year from now, probably chances are that same salesperson is not going to be there. So however long they spend with you that day is is they're doing it for free. They're not they don't get paid by the hour. They get paid when they produce a sale. So you tell them that that's the worst thing you can possibly do, guys. Just just um, I'm just warning you. So if you do tell them that, be prepared for the repercussions because it will make you mad. They won't let you look unescorted. They follow you around sometimes on a golf cart, sometimes on foot, and they will simply stay there with you. They won't let you look. A lot of times they'll show you what they want you to look at, not what you want to look at. You know, if you if you go into one of these dealerships and you want to look at, say, Class C motorhomes, and you say, you know what, I'm gonna run over and look at travel trailers real quick, they're not gonna let you because you they know you're not you're not there to buy a travel trailer. You want to buy a Class C motorhome. Now, I'm just telling you guys, I've been trained the same way they were back in the day. I know exactly how they operate. I could write a book about the things I've seen. Why do you think I don't work at places like that anymore, guys? Um, believe me, and I'm, that's just the way they are. I mean, I could tell you stories that would absolutely, um, that would absolutely make you lose faith in those big corporate dealers at all. But I'm not going to do that, guys. I don't want to get in a lawsuit. <laughs> But I could tell you some tricks and stuff, and I do time to time my videos. But um, guys, it's it's absolutely um, that's why nobody, you know. And here's the thing, guys: when you go to these big corporate dealers, ask around. Nobody's a, if they, there's probably one or two people. They have a hundred people there. One or two of them's been there longer than a year. That's pretty bad when when they're that miserable of a place to work for. Imagine buying from a place like that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, we're family-owned and operated 52 years right here in Ringgold, Georgia. It's located at 5568 Battlefield Parkway, Ringgold, Georgia, 30736. Come out and visit with us. Come out and browse our inventory. We're open Monday through Friday. Um, and now we do ask that any test drives are done on Monday through Friday only. Uh, Saturdays. Is a busy day for, for lookers, tire kickers, people just looking around. I have a limited crew here on Saturdays. Nobody available to take test drives. I uh, don't want to make you mad. Don't you know? I may lose a sale or two over it, but guys, we do not do test drives on Saturdays. I'm sorry, but um, you know, Saturdays again is a come out, look, have fun, you know, and then. You know, come back the next week if you find something you want to see and drive and make a deal then. It's just mostly a day for lookers. Kind of like a free RV show. And like I said, folks, come out visit us. We're easy to get along with. Been in business 52 years. And we got 150 use units to look at plus. Thank you again for watching, folks. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.